The story today is an Air France flight heading to Paris when there was supposedly a bomb found in the bathroom. The Air France flight made an emergency landing in Kenya and when the Kenyan authorities looked the package over the Kenyans actually thought it was a bomb but according to French authorities it was just a fake bomb surrounded by a watch it was basically what somebody put together to look like a bomb but was not actually a bomb or according to French authorities. Now let's listen to uh, one of the eyewitnesses in the uh, situation. Then we said we had uh, to land uh, in Mombasa because we had a technical problem, but actually it was not a technical problem. It could be like a bomb, something like, like this. I didn't see it, people saw it. Other people so there saw you it. heard one of the passengers talking about how some of the people saw the so-called bomb and before before I get to the main subject today, and the main subject is really, what is the strategy of our adversary? We have a major, major conflict going on. And don't get me wrong, we started this conflict. But at this point, it, it doesn't really matter who started the conflict. We're in it. And we need to know what our adversary, what their goal is. And this is a perfect time to discuss that because they don't even need to put a real bomb in this airplane to put fear, to strike fear into the Frenchman. They don't even have to put a real bomb in this airplane. All they have to do is put a fake bomb and the Frenchman will shake in fear. So you see how easy it is for the adversary to win. And that's why I'd like to have a little conversation today on maybe we bit off more than we can chew. Because I know for a fact, there's no maybe in my mind, I know for a fact that we bit off more than we can chew. Do Americans really know what we were getting into when we followed this madman down his path of destruction? No. That's the problem with these leaders, these madman leaders who take us down a road of craziness and you know, people, American people are trustworthy, and we trusted this madman. And that was a fault. That's a fault for Americans to trust these madmen. And now that this madman is safely in his little house in Texas or in his little castle in Europe or wherever he's hiding, he's safe. His family's safe. But the world is no more safe. The, the world is now a more dangerous place place because it is madman and that's what the whole world is starting to get a picture of that when you follow these madmen down that dark path that now Francois Hollande wants to take the French people down that dark path also when you follow these madmen you have to face the consequences so what is the goal of our adversary one way you could figure that out is to understand their way of thinking what do they think about the enemy of my enemy is my friend? I'll repeat that because that's one of their train of thought. That's, that's how they think. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that's exactly why Osama bin Laden was involved with the CIA. Because America was the enemy of Russia. And Osama bin Laden was fighting Russia. Hence, he would use America and the CIA. But that was 1980. So they used us in 1980. And we helped Osama bin Laden get Russia out of Afghanistan. And they won that battle because they used their brain. But we were not their friends then. Remember, we were the enemy of my enemy who is now my friend and then once we help them get Russia out of Afghanistan then we would return to be the enemy but why are we the enemy nobody ever asked that question why are we the enemy now 
it's because we are treading on their land. Is that really so difficult to understand? That's what I find so amazing with all the Western powers, whether it be France, America, whoever. It seems like the Italians are the only ones that really understand that when you're trampling on somebody else's property, you become the enemy. So, to try to state my case a little better, when Americans followed that madman down that dark path, we bit off more than we can chew because can we handle 1.6 billion people? Are you really prepared to destroy 1.6 billion people? Does that number even ring a bell in your brain? So as this false alarm comes into our life today, as this fake bomb scares the shit out of the Frenchman, we have to come to a new understanding that maybe we bit off more than we can chew. Maybe we followed, followed the wrong madman down that dark path. And maybe we need to reevaluate who we are following. Because it's clear to me that this man is in hiding with his family. They're safe. And now the world is a much dangerous place. That's what this Air France situation is telling me today. Yes, I know that we have followed the wrong leaders, but now it's time to change. And the best way that we can come to an understanding is to understand who George Bush works for, who Hillary Clinton, Obama, Lindsey Graham, John McCain, to figure out who they work for. And once you understand who these criminals like Hillary and Lindsey Graham and Obama, once you understand who they work for, and it's all about greed, power, oil, and money, once you understand that they work for the global elite money changers, they do not work for you and me, then we can change. Because there are over... 300 million of us. Remember, the global money changers and their shills that they put in political office, they're a small, small, tiny group of losers. We are over 300 million people. But until we understand how this criminal organization works, that Obama, George Bush, Hillary, all work, for the global money changers. Once we understand that, then we can make change. But we have to wake up. We have to wake up your neighbor, your family, your friend. We have to wake them up because the sad part is the majority of the Americans don't understand who Bush, Obama, and Hillary work for. We have to spread the word, and that's what we're doing. We're spreading the word that we're following criminals who work for the global bankers. And we have way too many government employees. We have 40 million government employees. Once we spread this word, then we can win the battle.